Hi guys, today I bring you the delicious way that I make cheese danish. You can prepare them for many different occasions and I assure you they are super easy to make. Do you want to know how I do it? Come and hazlo con su. First, we will remove the pastry boxes from the refrigerator so they thaw down. Then we take the sheets out of the boxes and we will put a piece of parchment paper between each sheet. And when I open them, I open them in the opposite direction. As this recipe is sweet, instead of using flour to roll the dough, I use icing sugar, but you can use flour if you wish. The egg whites that we previously reserved will add some milk and beat it. We also use a pizza cutter or a knife, a rolling pin and the cream cheese filling that we prepared in part one. As you can see, the pastry sheets are divided into three. These will make it easier for us to cut it later. We are going to sprinkle a little sugar or flour so that the sheets do not stick to our work area or the rolling pin and we can expand the sheets a little bit more. After spreading, you will notice the dividing lines and you'll cut it in three using the pizza cutter or a knife. We will work with one section at a time. We will continue spreading the strip a little more and then we'll cut it in half and then the two halves will cut it again in half. So we will have four pieces. We'll take the back of the cream cheese filling we previously made and cut one of the corners. Then we'll take the egg wash and we will brush the pieces this way. After we will place a little of the filling in the middle of each of the squares, the way that I show you, and then we will seal it. Do you see how easy it is when we use the bag for the filling? The egg wash will make the dough seal a little bit better, but to ensure that the filling does not come out, we will seal it with a fork. And for the fork not to stick to the dough, you can dip it in the sugar or flour before sealing each pastry. Then we will place it on a baking sheet and put it in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Here, I'm just showing you that you can do more at one time. This is one full sheet and you just follow the same steps. After they are all ready, they go straight to the freezer. And while this time passes, we will preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We'll now place the pastries in a baking sheet where we are going to actually bake them, leaving a space between them as they grow a little as they bake. We are going to brush each one of the pastries with the egg wash, and then we will sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top as well. And the sugar is totally optional. With the oven previously preheated to 350 degrees, we will bake a total of 20 to 25 minutes if you are using two trays. In this case, I am using three, so I bake for 25 to 30 minutes, rotating the trays throughout the time so that all the pastries are cooked well and get a consistent color. Of course, every oven is different, so you have to adjust to your oven. In some pastries, the filling tends to come out. So very carefully and with the help of two spoons, you can reintroduce the filling. For me, it is much easier while the pastries are still hot. To cool, we will pull them on a cooling rack. And as I show you in part one, with the pastries cooled, we will put wax paper underneath so that the work area does not get dirty. And we will drizzle the pastries or danishes with the glaze. This is how our pastries will look and now you can enjoy them on any occasion. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it. If you have not done so, subscribe to my channel and activate the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Also follow me on my social media of Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat at Asloconsum. 
Now you know how I do it. Bye. If you haven't done it, please check out part number one for the filling and glaze and part number three for the different variations. Thank you.